Hey, hey, Kira here, ready to react for you. Um, we are going to be reacting to what well, I'm going to be reacting to, and you'll be reacting to my reactions of it, um, or something like that. Maybe this is your first time watching these as well. We're going to be watching some um, Genshin Impact trailers again. Um, I just did uh, uh, some of these last week, and uh, we're doing version 2.0. Um, we're doing nine different trailers uh, today, so I'm just going to do them in succession. So bear with me as I switch from one video to the next, because if there's a better way to do it, I don't know about it. Sorry. So I don't think you guys care about that, so that's fine. The first um, trailer that we're going to be watching is called, uh, it's version 2.0, The Immovable God and the Eternal Euthymia? Euthymia? God, I hope that's not a common word that everybody knows that I am just lost on. It probably is, so color me embarrassed. It's okay, though. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Mondstadt is the city of freedom, and Leo is the city of contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the nation of eternity. I love those kind of shots that glide over. Exclusively on our single goal of implementing eternity. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. When a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. I mean, isn't that the case uh, with everything? I mean, I think that some of us are probably more attuned to vision than other people. But I guess what they're saying is that when you have a vision, it is the calling of the gods, perhaps. And I would assert that there are some people in the world, many people in the world, that also believe that just about the world itself. It must be a possession, right? I see. That reminds me. It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is missing. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's ambition. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. So that's a pretty neat premise. So you have a vision, it can be confiscated, which is terrifying. And then what? And then you go after that vision? Do you need a vision to go after your vision? My intuition was correct. The wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the Almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! Amisato Ayaka, Frostflake. Not to be mistaken with Snowflake, right? She doesn't seem like a snowflake to me. My apologies! Kamisato out! Sometsu! Do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka and look for a fireworks shop run by the Naganohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Allow me to introduce myself. A fifth of reprise! I'm Yoimia. <laughs> Yoimia. Frolicking. Is she just bandaged up a lot? I mean, she get, must get into a lot of rough fights. Fire 
Oh, no, that might be a tattoo. I thought it was bandages with blood on it because her top looks all like bandages. And then I thought that was what it was around her arm. She's like, man, she's fucked up. At your disposal. Mujina. And away I go. Kenjutsu. In addition to us, there was also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Remove all threats to eternity by order of the Almighty Shogun! Adopted daughter of the Kudra clan of the Terio Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. The resistance never betrays its own. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I think that's probably a little foreshadowing, right? The resistance never uh, never goes against its own. Hmm. The wait is over, my comrades. Yowza. You will be inlaid upon this statue. So these are, from what I understand from the last time I watched these videos, this is just little snippets of um, what the video game actually looks like. I still am curious because I, I haven't uh, seen my previous reaction video where I was like, is this also a show uh, that you can actually follow and watch without having to play the game? Um, so you might, I may, I've already asked this, you may have already answered it. I'll get the answer eventually, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but because I don't really know all that, like gameplay doesn't uh, get me super excited. Like seeing all these weapons just makes me think like, God, there's just a lot to know. Uh, this portion of it is just like, oh, I'd rather hear the lore personally. Um, okay. So we're gonna move on to version 2.1, Floating World Under the Moonlight. Ooh, I bet this is gonna be beautiful. Um, in uh, the version one point somethings, uh, there, were, uh, there was like a floating lights uh, episode that was absolutely gorgeous. I will hand it to this Genshin Impact game that it is beautifully rendered. And of course, I always love uh, female heroines. So let's see what Floating World Under the Moonlight looks like. Repeat after me. Three, two, one, one, two, three. <sighs> You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangoma. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I want to live on that island, Watatsumi. Can we move there? But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. Ooh, that sounds awful. Then the peace talks are likely a trap. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. Senor is the one behind all this? Ugh. Yeah, it's her again. Ooh, I like her outfit. Lesson now. Rare. Follow me around like a dark shadow. <laughs> My boobs wouldn't look like that in that outfit, though. I mean, unless she's got some, like, real serious, like, you know, fashion tape going on there. <laughs> nice. Ashes will remain. Let's get them. Protect Madame Cujo. And I will do everything within my power to defend my family's honor. Strike. Storm 
the front! You Cujo scum! Colluding with the Fatui isn't low enough for you already! You just want to take everything away from us! To survive hardship, you must prepare for hardship. She looks very pleasant. I don't know that she looks like she's been through a lot of hardship, but, you know, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Rebuild! Covenant of the Deep! Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory. <laughs> Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Ooh, Raiden Shogun. Shine down! Yeah! Are they holding swords? Like, are they holding swords in their cleavage? Yeah, I think to be one of these fighters, I would definitely need some breast augmentation. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Fuck you, bitch. That's it. Just like that. <laughs> eternity stretches things out over a long time. Uh, eternity is a long time, that's for sure. But each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. <laughs> Floating world under the moonlight. Ah, oh, look how gorgeous. Well, this is starting to feel like chili pepper weather. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the Moon Chase Festival. I'm taking part in this year's Masterful Chefs. If possible, I'd like you to be my culinary consultants. There... Does that just mean that I get to eat your food and tell you what I think? I'm in. There is one dish that perhaps you could try making for me. We have two extraordinary talents this year. I'm interested to see their choice of dishes. Okay, without further ado, let the cooking commence. Begin! <laughs> so, I'm wondering, like, as a player of this game... Like, I have it that the majority of video game play are males. And I, that could be an assumption I'm making and I could be way off. I do know that a lot of women and girls do play video games. I'm fully aware of that, especially in the newer generation versus my generation. Um, but I'm curious, does having all of the hero characters being female, I mean, I don't know if all of them are female, but does having the vast majority of them being female stop males like men and boys from playing this game. All right, I think that's it on uh, the floating world under the moonlight. Um, let me know, you know, I'm just curious if, because for me, I would be more inclined to play a game if the hero character is a female. Personally, because I'm sexist. What do you want from me? I'm just kidding, not kidding. Uh, <laughs> I just relate to women better because I am very much a woman. And so I, I wonder if um, dudes feel the same way, that if they have a choice between playing a female character and a male character, if they would choose the male over the female, um, or if it matters, uh, this is a, a, a real question. I'm being serious. Um, okay. So version 2.2 into the perilous labyrinth of fog. Ooh. Okay. So here we go. Let's watch this. Get that cursor out of the way. As soon as the melody began, my mind began to drift and I could hear the sound of someone playing along with me. Come try it for yourself. It's all yours. Time to rock! Nice. 
Never thought I'd run into familiar faces so far. I like her eye makeup. This place. I don't look that good in red eye makeup. I've tried it. It just looks like I'm tired and maybe a little high. Yes, this used to be my dominion. It's the scent of monsters, the aroma of battle. I don't care how strong they are. They'll be ashes when I'm finished with them. Please, allow me to assist you. <laughs> they got a little lazy on that animation, didn't they? Just kidding. I'm sure it has something to do with the character and the lore. The battle with Shikifuda and Onmyodo. Ah, the monsters here are strong. Fierce fighting awaits us. It would appear that this place is some sort of combat training ground. There's nothing but fighting and slaughter to be had here. Now that we're all here, what do you say we get to the bottom of this? Where are we headed this time? That looked like a terrifying monster, that huge thing. The bigger they are, the more I'm just like, nope, can't win. <laughs> I, if you ever have me on a team in gameplay, first of all, it won't happen. Secondly, we're dead. Don't get too close. Here's Becca. So that little paper cutout, is he like a, um, a Damon? I was not like Matt Damon, <laughs> but I don't know if you guys know the Golden Compass. They have like the animals that follow along with them. Like, is he just like a protector on the shoulder of this character? Um, I'm curious about that. This is this is the first time I've seen something like that in these trailers. And like I said, I just watched <clears throat> a bunch of trailers uh, last week, and so I'm now very curious about that little paper cutout guy. Into the Perilous Labyrinth of Fog. I really like that title. It's beautiful. The Perilous Labyrinth of Fog. Never really think about fog being a labyrinth, but yeah. Oh, it's so visually stimulating. I wish I was stoned and watching this right now. I'd probably just be staring though, my reactions would suck. So it's probably better for all of us that I'm not. So this is what the gameplay looks like. Again, way too complicated for my simple, simple brain. And if you guys ever did watch me play when we were, when I was doing Twitch for uh, Chicago Plays, you would agree with me. I have no idea what's going on most of the time. I was playing Mass Effect and it was very fun, but I constantly had to check my journal, my map. I had no sense of direction. <clears throat> I have no sense of direction in actual life. Put me in a video game, over. It's over. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing or where I'm going. Everything kind of looks the same. Um, kind of like in real life, you know? Everywhere, you know, wherever you are, yeah, what is it? What's the fucking saying? I can't even think of it. Uh, everywhere you go, there you are. Yeah. Even in video game play, that is the case. Okay, I was right. I thought that was coming to an end. Uh, so this one is actually the prettiest one so far that I've watched today. This is my commentary. Apologies, you guys. I have nothing more in depth than, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love her outfit. Oh, I wonder what this is all about. So, um... Apologies, you know, um, but it is, I, I, and I said this in the last video for Genshin Impact trailers, uh, I, I, the first two videos today that we just watched had a lot more of the storytelling and that got a little bit more of my attention. Like the, uh, the idea of like your vision being your ambition, which is a, a cool I mean, I think it's a cool way to look at life in general, right? If you have a vision, you have ambition. If you don't have any vision, then you don't have any ambition. But if you have vision, you don't necessarily have ambition in real life. Sometimes ambition still just escapes people. I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, but this last one that we just watched seemed a little more just like, hey, here's, here's the video game. Here are the characters. Um, 
again, I just want to know more of the story. That's a little bit more of what I'm interested in. I am a huge fan of lore. And so if these trailers gave me just a little bit more of that, I, I feel like I would be a little more turned on by them. That's all I'm saying. With this newfound strength, I will defend those who fight alongside me. Protecting my soldiers doesn't just mean having a robust defense in place. It means going on the attack. The key to seizing victory in battle lies in remembering the meaning of battle and employing the right tactics to generate- Terrifying, we're dead. Great momentum. Holy! Oh, I like that. Keep your weapon at the ready. K9 warrior. Oh, he's cute. I also just like dogs, you know, so, um, and like, and this looks like a wolf fighting a canine warrior. Press the advantage! And Oni! The Tenryo Commission recently issued an arrest warrant. Arataki Ito. We've been trying to apprehend him recently. People see Oni cause trouble again. That will defeat the whole purpose of the sacrifice he made! Come on, men. We won't get away this time. Just give yourself up, Arataki. A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. When it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. Well, that seems pretty likely. Ah, idiot Oni. What did you say, little one? Go on. Say it to my face. So are those like tattoos on their face or do they put on their makeup every day like that to go into battle? Because I put on my makeup to come in here and do this and it's a pain in my ass, right? Otherwise, I just wouldn't ever put on makeup. So I'm just like, damn, like, man, these guys are like getting up early, getting their foundation on, their primer so that shit stays while they're battling. It's a lot. It's showtime! Oh, coming through! Side. Ooh, I like that weapon. That's <laughs> I love that weapon. Shut up! Would you? I would just walk around with that the whole time. I'm sure he has multiples, but I wouldn't bother switching. The transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, mm. to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. This mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries, a vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. People are put off by the cold and don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior. Are you here to build a snowman too? Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman! It'll be a ton of fun! Ooh, these kids are not dressed for cold weather. That's all I'm saying. I'd be freezing cold in those outfits. Look at those short little shorts. What's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Dragonspine has become more dangerous than it used to be. Huh? Oh no. Avalanche! Oh shit. Albedo. What the devil do you think you were doing? All right, so this one definitely has shadows amid snowstorms. Definitely has the best weapon so far. Her big knife there was was awesome. that orb circling her it's probably like a protective thing right or was it her sword that she just like whoosh 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 because her sword kind of makes that <clears throat> when she goes around and time to build a snowman because why not and I like the cold the cold is actually my friend it, you know, if I had to deal with cold or heat, 
I would probably rather deal with the cold. You can always put on more layers. Um, there's something amazing about cold air on my face. I, I absolutely love it. I mean, I live in Chicago. I would much rather live in a temperature, a temperament like Chicago versus New Orleans, for example. I would suffocate in a place like New Orleans. So, look at them taters, Jesus Christ. Ooh, see that knife, I'm, I, it's a sword. That sword is b -nom. I liked it. Where's that big fucking club though? That was awesome with the spikes, I'm into it. I'm into it, it's a melee weapon, I know that. I've learned quite a bit in my years of reacting to these things, like what the word melee means. <laughs> Aren't you guys proud? All right, so version 2.4, fleeting colors in flight. Again, I am prepared for beauty here. Let's go ahead and see what we are to see. We build the jade chamber? That's a huge project. The jade chamber belongs in the sky amongst the clouds. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human- Man, I want to live in a place like this, seriously. It looks amazing. I mean, it looks like you have to fight a lot, which I'm not really into, um, but maybe I could be a contingent or a faction of the society that just doesn't fight. I mean, I would just totally lay around. I would do that. I'll react to videos. I'm a really useful member of society in general. That's all I'm saying. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks. Plus they look like they party all the time, which I'm totally into. And enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Plus I want to wear those outfits. Look how gorgeous that outfit is. That's so lovely. Yunjin stage Lucida, the opera star's performance. Oh, she's an opera star. Huh. And a fighter, damn. She's like a double threat. If she's an opera star, she might also be able to things that would make her a triple threat. And if she can dance, well, get the fuck out. Had the divine damsel of devastation. Becoming a hero. Perhaps the little girl was not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. Transfiguration. Do your master's bidding. Yeah, that one is really pretty. I like the uh, I like the idea of uh, an opera singer being a hero. The fate of this world. I wonder if she like uses her voice uh, as one of her weapons. That would be kind of cool, right? Right. It's already we know that dude isn't using his voice for much of anything. He can barely get it out. No. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. Although that that thing doesn't even seem to have teeth, so
dead. We're dead. It's like a double helix situation. Nope. Coming. It's not going to be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. If it came to it, well, it shit. destroy another G chain. I don't even know what the Jade Chambers are. In the last version we looked at, she said that she built the Jade Chambers, but I don't think I'm missing it where they just did like, what the fuck is a Jade Chamber? I just want to know. Tell me more. And again, I'm guessing that these trailers are created for folks who already understand the game and the characters, but for someone like me, I'm just like, that means nothing to me. Um, I'm sure it's cool. Oh, whoa. Look at those sea serpents. We're definitely dead. Don't ever play a game with me if you want to win. Unless it's like a board game or a party game. I'm pretty good at those. Hard games, not so much. I get way too anxious. Oh, that's cute. It's gonna turn into a big monster. No, okay. Terrifying big ass monster. Trust nothing and no one. New outfits? Okay, again, come on. So is this game primarily played by women and girls? Because that kind of thing would get me excited. But does that actually get like dudes excited to like, oh my God, a new gown. I mean, <clears throat> it's cool if it does. I'm I, like, it, it's just, it would be surprising to me is all I'm saying. I mean, because I, I used to play a lot of Barbie and one of my favorite things about Barbie is like that bitch had every single kind of outfit there is to have. And I mean, she was just so fucking fashionable, right? But whenever I wanted my brother to play Barbie with me, he was like, fuck no, get the fuck out of here. All right. I'm sure you guys are super impressed by my commentary and insight here. <laughs> so we're on at version 2.5. When the Sakura bloom, ooh. More beauty is on its way. I mean, it's right here, I know. <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna watch it in the video too. All of Inkanomiya is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. There have also been reports of monsters, the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters? And an all-engulfing darkness? So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? What's with you joining forces with them? I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really not that surprising. And Ganomiya is exceedingly dangerous right now. I was hoping I have the chance. This tower seems to hear my wishes. That's a pretty fucking sweet elevator is all I have to say. Oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. The darkness does seem terrifying. It's how I imagine death, mostly. Just darkness. That's it. Lights out. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. You're all right, little one. You look a little... I like her hair. Now you've got my attention. Woo, I want hair like that. Um, I am actually, I'm trying to grow my hair out right now to mermaid length. It's gonna take a while longer. At the beginning of the pandemic, I had uh, I had super duper short hair, and uh, and now it's to here. 
I want to get it to like all the way down here. And then I'm going to do a do like that because I like that layered sort of shaggy and short on top situation. But I feel like I need to get a little more hair than that. Not that any of you care about that. <laughs> I like the, that the, the caption actually says that. No longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Wow, wow. What's wrong with A? During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. But this means that... I'm placing my god in your capable hands. Please, bring her back. You wish to make yourself my enemy? Everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. Inferior. Perish. Yeah, I don't think anybody's beating that. Look at that fucking forearm. gateway offering. Ooh, it's a teleportation device. Which, I mean, when you're, like, ain't no knowing what you're gonna show up at the other place like, right? Of drink a dreamin'. Do you play a barista in this? Your customer gets pissed and throws your coffee at you, you lose points. Huh, fighting tournament. Like a fight club, except I think people probably fight to the death. Which doesn't sound like that much fun to me. a little bit more of the story uh, involved, which again, that's really all I need is, is a little more of the story I, or character development. Um, I don't feel particularly attached to any of the characters other than what they look like and their outfits. Um, so again, I just want a little bit more. But also, uh, to be fair, I'm also not the audience for this. Um, so it makes sense that I, I, I would want sort of a different, I would want a different telling of what this is about versus, hey, here's all the cool weapons. Here's all the cool things you can do. Here's the, the powers of each one of these characters. You know, to me, it's just like, eh. You know, like, well, tell me about the characters. Tell me about what they're fighting. Tell me about why they're fighting. What are their backgrounds? Um, tell me a little bit more about where they live. Um, and that sort of thing. I want to know more about this whole relationship that they have to the deities. Do they each have their own deity? Do groups of people worship one deity and then another? Is there like a lot of religious wars? Um, that's kind of a little bit of what it sounds like, but I'm just making all of this up. Um, so version 2.6, Zephyr of the Violet Garden. Beautiful here! So many things I've never seen before. 
Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. Ah, uh, Arataki Numero Uno Ito challenge you to an all-out, no holds barred, anything goes duel. Ah! <laughs> to fulfill the most crucial element, inspiration. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. She looks like a Girl Scout. <laughs> Greetings. Ayaka has mentioned you on numerous occasions. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I am head of the Kamisato clan. Kami oh, hello, stud. He looks so effortless in the way that he uh, in the way that he fights. It's kind of funny. Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Now it's like start. whoosh 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 whoosh. Hmm. Let me gracefully sheath my sword. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. Now, is the Abyss Order the same as the darkness that they were fighting before? Because they sound related. As the Hilly Drills go in, they never emerge again. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Maybe whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. More than one kind of strange power exists here, that it's highly likely that even as we speak, Ooh. the Abyss is watching our every move. Huh? What's this? Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Find a way to stop that thing! So yeah, I wonder if the Abyss Order is somehow related to the darkness that was overtaking everything. That was unfortunate for that guy who just fell through that floor. Um, and are each one of these versions like related to the last? I can tell that there are some similar characters like the little girl that flies with the fun voice. Um, but there seems to also be new characters with every single version or at least characters that aren't being introduced in previous trailers. Um, oh, and you have several characters. Whew. It's a lot to keep track of. I can't even keep track of like all the weapons of a single character. We should move there, everybody. We should just move there. Except if everybody moves there, we'll, we'll all destroy it because humans suck. Okay. Let's see here, we're at version 2.7. Hidden dreams in the depths. All right, here we go. Oh, and I noticed that they changed like the, uh, you know, the production company maybe, uh, whoever's making this or producing these uh, from the Mayo something something to Hoyoverse now. Was there drama there? What's going on there? My father. 
He's thinking of stepping down from the Tianxu position. I first met Ye Lan when she was very young. Even back then, she was extremely tough, and she kept her cards close to her chest. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could... Okay, so is this the same chasm as in the last version? Because then we've got some... We've got some follow through here between between each of the versions here. Um, let's see if they talk about the the abyss. Finally learned the truth of what happened back then. Everything is chaotic here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. Does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? Something seems to have been activated inside the fantastic compass. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Gotcha! Bust it! Here comes the catch! Maybe I should make better use of my time. Her name's Kooky. <laughs> Our bond is strong. Stand with me. Lightning purified. No. It's alive. Why would you become like this? That sounds like Shu. Could he be in trouble? No way. Was that who I think it was? Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! Ooh. I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Die here with me! That seems very intense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, there's some follow through. Those goblins were also in the other, the other version as well. And now I'm finally noticing that there are several characters with which you play. Um. And I guess, are there just more advantageous characters in some of the realms and in some of the versions? Do you bring characters from other versions over into the new one? Seems weird to be able to play so many characters. Can you just interchange them? Or do you have to be at some sort of home base? I have a lot of questions, obviously. And apologies if it's all answered in, in any of this and I'm just missing it, because I know that there's a lot of writing down here. And I'm catching a decent amount of it, but it still, still doesn't really, because my questions are super basic and probably things that anybody who plays any kind of games knows the answer to um, just by watching these. So it's okay though. I'm not upset by it. Version 2.8 Summer Fantasia trailer. All right. Well, that sounds like fun. Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? Nope, can't say as I have. Away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. Since the Vision Hunt decree has been repealed, I no longer have any grounds to officially arrest him. Then again, I guess something very interesting is about to happen. That's it. I'm taking this case over. Yeah. Uh, fracture. Can't move me. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. Hmm. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed.
enchanted paradise that one has been searching for. Wow, look like Disney World. It's the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Okay, so she's alluding to the darkness again. So my questions might be answered in, inside of does the does the storyline continue or is it just a whole new storyline every time? Um, it seems like it does. I could be wrong on that. Maybe I'm just making assumptions. Maybe they just use a lot of the same language uh, for different ideas. But it does seem like it, it does follow through. Be to the princess who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, your highness. Look at me, a genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. Lady Magistus, are you embarrassed? Stop calling me that weird name. Lady Magig... What? <laughs> Excellent, most excellent. Oh, official? That's enough. Come on, just play along. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. I want to go on that boat in that water. I don't want to crash through things. I mean, it doesn't look like it's all that dangerous or scary, considering once you do, it just like bling. <laughs> but, um, oh, that looked lovely. It's clear that I need to get away. Um, I don't know if y'all are noticing this, but I'm just looking at this scenery being like, I want to go there. That looks nice. Except I don't want to deal with the abyss or the darkness or any of those uh, terrifying looking monsters. Again, you know, I'll just, I'll just hold back. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be the, you know, the entertainment or something. Or just hang out on the beach. I'll be a tourist, you know? I'm just like, what is all this darkness going on here? I didn't sign up for this. That sounds like a good role for me to play. Like a Karen, I could just be a Karen. I wouldn't make a very good Karen. I'll be real honest with you. I'm too fucking nice. I'd be like, oh yeah, no, it's great, it's fine. It's fine that this big monster is trying to attack me. I mean, you can't, you can't uh, 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 predict everything, can you? New outfits. Awesome. All right, yeah, so uh, so some of my questions were answered. Like I said, it does seem like there's some follow through with the story. I'm still very curious about the many, many, many characters it seems like there are. And if basically if the characters all uh, you know, go into the next version. And if you can play old characters in the new versions, don't know any of that, but, um, but I do love the idea of new outfits. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think my question definitely still remains in regards to like, I'm guessing a lot of guys play this. And is that something that's exciting? I'm guessing also it's a way to level up. And so it might be exciting, just not in the way that it might be exciting for someone like me, where I'm like, oh, yeah, let's put on a new gown. Um, let's look pretty. Um, so, <laughs> so I hope you love my commentary because I find my commentary to be pretty stupid. Uh, <laughs> and that's okay if you think so, too. You could even tell me in the comments. It's fine. My feelings don't get hurt too bad. Um, I'll just cry in my pillow all night. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, so yeah, but this does, I mean, this does look like a beautiful game to play. I would be far more interested in maybe like a show of some kind that actually follows the characters and does a little bit of character, uh, building, um, so that I can be a little bit more attached. I like being attached to characters is all I'm saying. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed that.
Um, and I want to uh, give a special shout out to our patrons uh, because without you, I wouldn't be doing this. So thank you. I appreciate you. We all appreciate you. And here's a list of y'all's names. Peace until next time.